hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn how we can create a half transparent blurry menu in visual studio using the wpf framework so let's begin so we're gonna create a new project choose to type wpf and name it just menu So here's our project. The designer is gonna take a while. Till then we can begin designing our grid. So column definition. We need two columns. And we need another grid inside the main grid so inside this grid we need some rows so row definition and we need plenty of rows for our menu so the first row we're gonna leave it blank and the other rows our menu would be here so let's make this column a little bit smaller we're gonna change its width uh, to one star and two star. Oh, I did it the opposite way. This should be like this. So this column would be half of this column now let's uh, move on we have created this now we need buttons uh, in these rows so I'm gonna create some buttons One, two, three, four, five, six. But we don't we don't need them right now. We're gonna make a button, and then when the button is finished, we're gonna copy and paste it. So inside the button, we need the background as transparent, and the border thickness to zero. Also, the uh, foreground should be like uh, Alice Blue would do. Also, the vertical alignment should be center and the horizontal alignment should be left. Or or I can say red horizontal content alignment and vertical content alignment so here it is now I'm gonna copy this button and just paste it six times and then I'm gonna change the rows of these buttons so create uh, not the column but the row 
this goes into the C into the first row second third fourth and fifth okay so the buttons are placed now to write something in the buttons be patient we're gonna soon make the half menu transparent so at first we're gonna name this as home you can name it whatever you like and we also need to increase the font size to let's say 20 or 45 and the foreground should be black for now so we can see the text okay So the next content should be anything where I'm just saying it as default and settings and maybe uh, advanced setting settings. and help so these are our menu these are our menu contents let's make uh, let's make the column a little bigger so So now it's perfect so here's our menu which should be uh, transparent and this should be opaque so to make this transparent we need to do do something like this first we need to allow the transparency of the application to true and window style to none this is very necessary we can do nothing without this so another thing is mouse down event and inside this mouse down event we can do like this if uh, e dot left button or mouse button status mouse button state dot pressed if the button is pressed then do what do this this dot drag move let's see what we created so far so here's our menu we can move it but it's not yet transparent let's make it transparent to make it transparent we need to do something like this window dot uh, 
window dot background inside this we can initialize the solid color brush and its opacity would be 0.5 and its color would be aqua now let's check the menu so here is the menu it's transparent all right but it's fully transparent so to make it half transparent we're gonna do something in our second column so inside here I'm gonna create a rectangle and I'm gonna fill it with white color and move it to the second column and now you can see that we have successfully created our half transparent menu now to make it more interesting you can do uh, some more things like like initialize an image and make the source so before defining the source I am gonna put these three images inside the project location which is this now after doing that I'm gonna press show all files and include this in my project right click and include in project so these three files are now these three images are now included in my project and I can choose it right away you can see I can use it right away so stretch and fill you can now see it's uh, uh, we are now having a blurry background so but uh, the uh, half transparent menu is not is now not transparent so to make it transparent the background is sure transparent now make the image transparent too we'll make the image transparent too to a limit let's say 0.75 and now if we run the project our menu look like this so you can see there is a blurry effect in the menu and it looks just beautiful so you can play with it uh, and change different images like we have image 2 you can play with the opacity of the image and the uh, app and make it to your comfort make it like what you want and another thing is that you can uh, to blur the image more and to adjust more what you can do is you can go for image dot effect 
blur effect and radius to let's say 100 and quality and render bias to quality now let's run it with the image 3 So this is our final version of the menu and it looks absolutely amazing. So that's in it for the video. Thanks for watching and if you like the video press the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.